So here we have solving a radical equation that simplifies to a linear equation, one radical basic. So I do want to eliminate the radical by using the power. But before I can do that, I do need to get this radical by itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 10 on both sides. And then that will give me the square root of u minus 4 equal to negative 7. And then the power of invisible 2, I will apply to both sides. And then I will get u minus 4, because these will undo each other. And negative 7 squared is 49. And then if I add 4 to both sides, I get that u equals 53. So remember, when you have an equation with square roots, you do have to check your answers. So when I go to check, I'm going to type it into the original problem. So 53 minus 4 is 49. And this is the question. We want to know if those are the same. Square root of 49 is 7. And then I get 17. And these are not the same which although I did everything correct to obtain this answer, it's a bad answer. It doesn't work. So the answer I would give them is no solution. Similarly for this problem, I want to get the square root part by itself so I can apply the power on both sides. So here I'm actually going to add 2 because it's a negative 2. So I get the square root of w minus 6 equal to 4. And then it's a 2 index, so I'm going to do a 2 power on both sides. I get w minus 6 equal to 4 squared is 16. I'm going to add 6 on both sides. I get w equals 22. So let's check our answer. We get negative 2 plus the square root of 22 minus 6 equal to 2. So all I did was take the original equation and plug in 22 for w. So we get negative 2 plus, uh, if I take away 6, I get 16. Is that equal to 2? We don't know yet. The square root of 16 is 4. And then negative 2 plus 4 is actually positive 2. And these are the same. And so the fact that this one did check out means that 22 is our solution. So it does work out.